Okay, hi all. So here I'm going to discuss uh, about a SQL interview question. So here the question is, uh, in a particular company, the HR wants to display the data of employees. In the sequence, how they are transferred from one location, one location to another location, including the data transfer. So here, this is the table. Let me show you. So this is the table. Here you could see like, uh, this is an employee table. And uh, we have the details of uh, employee. So I have to again for, uh, to keep it simple, I have to again do employees, John and Tom, right? Now, if you will see here the data of John. So John has been transferred from Delhi to Bangalore and Bangalore to Pune, right? So we all know like uh, this happens in, a, in any company like the employees. They are transferred from one location, one location to another location. So here John was working in Delhi on 21st January 2021. And then on 15th February 2021, he was transferred to Bangalore. And then 25th June, he was transferred to Pune. And uh, similarly for Tom, he was in Delhi and then transferred to Chennai from 11th January 2022. No, sorry. He was in Chennai in 21st September 2021. And then he was transferred to Delhi on 11th January 2022. Okay. So now this is the data. And uh, this is a very common uh, data you can find in any company where you have to, and now you have to write a query so that you can display this output. If you see this output here for John and Tom, we have a separate row and if you see this data, so John, we are showing that John was in Delhi on 21st January, and then he was transferred to Bangalore and then to Pune and along with the date. So this is what we have to display. So net net, you have to display the locations where a particular employee was transferred along with the date okay and this is the main catch so we'll try to solve this question using sql query okay all the question is clear to everyone so this is the employee table so what we'll do first of all in this query uh i will use uh ct here with ct1 as uh select uh, name sorry this is employee name and then we have location then we have transfer date and after this i will concatenate location along with this okay so this I will concatenate with uh, transfer date. And this I will concatenate with this operator. And I will turn this as transfer date or transfer location date and thing. So first of all, let me execute this query. Or uh, let me remove the CT. <coughs> First of all, let's keep it very simple, okay? And then we have this from employee, right? So here, what I have tried to do, you could see like we have employee name, location, transfer date, and here this transferred date, you could see like I have, I have concatenated this location and transfer date, and this date I have kept within this parenthesis right because if you check this output this was the expectation that this date should be in parenthesis right so net net from this query just i have to write a new column like transfer date or maybe i can write this as transferred location underscore date which means we are displaying here transferred location as well as date okay so here we got the location along with the uh -huh. date. Okay, now what I will do, I will I will keep this query in a CT expression. Okay, with CT1 as uh, 
I I hope uh, you guys know what is CT and how it behaves. Let me show you the output. Okay, now this is the output. Now let's try to understand our next step. So here in this query, what I'm trying to do, I have this data, right? Now here with this data, if I'm considering the example of John, right? Let's consider the example of John. So I have to show all these different locations for John in a single row. Similarly, all these locations along with transfer date of Tom in a single row. So you could see here, this is the required output, right? So for this, I will use the list aggregator function, okay? So what I will do here, I will write here, select employee name along with uh, list aggregator. So which column I want to aggregate here? So this is the column which I want to aggregate means this is the column, this values I want to show here, right? So this is the column I have to aggregate, right? So this column I will write here. This column I will write here, okay? And if you could see like here, I have mentioned this should be separated by this arrow, right? So I will write here this arrow, okay? And then, but this aggregation, now, now suppose if I will execute this query, group by employee name. Let's see if I'm executing this query. Let's go step by step. If I'm executing this query, so for this, this is the output, right? Now this is the output for this. Now this is the output for this. Now here what has happened, this is the meaning of this. So here we are training SQL engine that I want to aggregate this transferred location date. It means this column separated by this arrow for group by employee name. That is for each and every employee. So for John, you could see like this values has been has been aggregated here, Delhi, Pune, Bangalore, right? Similarly for Tom, this values has been aggregated. So for Tom, it is Delhi and Chennai. So we can see Delhi and Chennai. And I have used here this arrow just to tell to the SQL engine that I want to separate the different transferred location, okay, by this arrow marks. That's where you could see the arrow marks are written here, right? But if you'll check, this is not the expected output, right? Because here the expectation is it should be Delhi, then Bangalore, then Pune. Why? Because this is in the ascending order of the transfer date, 21st January, then 15th February, then 25th, 25th June. But here the sequence has changed. It is 21st January, then 25th June, then 15th February. So this is not expected. Similarly here for Tom, the sequence has changed, right? So we have to tell to SQL engine that within each group, within each employee name, when you're aggregating this transferred location date, so please aggregate this based on the ascending order of transfer date, right? So that's why now here in this query, we have to mention within group. Actually, this is the syntax of list aggregator. So I have to write here within group, it means I'm turning to the SQL engine within each group, within John, within Tom, what to do to sort the data based on the transfer date, okay? In which order? Ascending order. So even if you're not right ascending, it will work because by default, you know, like order by was in the ascending order, right? So now if I will run this query, so we could check the output. So this is the query and let me run this. And let's say, suppose uh, let's give this a name. 
as as transferred location along with data. I'm using an alias here. Okay. Uh, okay, or else uh, let's write the name as derived because this two name will be same, right? That's why to segregate it, I will write this name as derived transfer location rate. Okay, so or else you can give any name as per your convenience. So this is the final query. And now let's check the output for this. So this is the output. If you verify here, Let me explain this. If you verify here for John, so 21st January, he was in Delhi, then 15th February, he was transferred to Bangalore, then 25th June, transferred to Pune. Similarly for Tom, 21st September, he was in Chennai, then on 11th January, 2022, he was transferred to Delhi. So net, net, in this question, <coughs> first of all, we have used the concept of concatenation, right? So we have concatenate uh, the location along with transfer date and that output we have said in a CT1. So this is the one thing, this is step one. In a step one, what we are doing, we are concatenating the location along with the transfer date, right? And this is the output. If you're working on SQL Server, SSNS, so this pipe operator will not work. There you have to use this concat keyword, okay? So after this, this is our step two. Here, uh, we are telling to the SQL engine that uh, whatever value we have, this value, right? This is stored in CT1 now. So we are telling that please uh, aggregate the transferred location data, I mean this value, right? For, and I have used group by employee name. I mean, for each and every group, for each and every employee, please aggregate this value. So that's where you could see here for John, whatever value was present here, this has been aggregated here, right? Similarly for Tom, whatever transfer location date was there, it has been aggregated here. So in step two, we have achieved it, but still, uh, if you will analyze this, this, this is not in a proper sequence, right? Because in the expected artwork, this has to be in the proper sequence. Sequence means the order, how the employee has been transferred. So this must be in that order. So to achieve that, what we have done, we have added a new condition here within group this value. So the meaning of this is we are telling to the SQL engine that within each group, whatever you have this transferred location date, please sort it based on the transfer date. That is why now you could see like it has been sorted based on the transfer date, right? So hope you all have understood this. Uh, if you have any question, you can please uh, share that in the comment section. Thanks a lot. Thanks for uh, uh, viewing this video. Thank you. Take care. Bye.